Hello students welcome back to geography class of 6th standard in previous video we have started with first chapter representation of geographical features of the earth in this chapter we have already discussed meaning of globe limitation of the globe introduction of map types of maps in which we have already discussed physical maps political maps and thematic maps and today we will discuss significance of maps components of maps in which we will discuss title and scale then types of scales in which we will discuss statement scale linear scale and rf scale but before we proceed with this topic let's recall the cross questions related to the last video number 1 What do you mean by geography? Number two, what is globe? Number three, what is the use of globe? Number four, what are the limitations of the globe? Number five, what is map? And number six, how many types of maps are there? Number seven, what do you mean by physical maps? Number eight, what do you mean by political maps? Number nine, what do you mean by thematic maps? Number ten, what do you mean by topographical maps? And number eleven, how are maps more useful than a globe? Now, students, we will discuss important terms related with this topic. Number one, atlas means a book of maps. Number two, cartography means the art of making map number 3 cartographer means a person who draws map number 4 scale means a ratio between actual ground distance and map distance number 5 statement scale means a scale in which map distance and ground distance is shown in a statement form number 6 rf scale means a ratio between map distance and ground distance and number 7 linear scale means a scale in which map distance and ground distance is shown on straight line now students next we will discuss word meanings related with this topic number 1 components means elements number 2 effectively means successfully number 3 accurate means correct number 4 proportionate means relevant number 5 reduced means make less and number 6 enlarged means increase now students open page number 13 of your book first we will read significance of maps here significance of maps means importance of maps number 1 maps are useful to study only a part of the earth that is a country a state or a continent number 2 maps are the representation or a drawing of the earth surface on a flat surface thus we can study earth as a whole on map number 3 maps provide us more information than the globe students this is the importance of map now students next we will discuss fact track so let's start reading a collection of maps of the world countries and continents is called atlas here atlas means a book of maps now we will read next paragraph it was firstly published by the dutch cartographer gerardus marketer in 1595 students here the dutch means the people of netherland next cartographer is a person who draws maps students mark this line 
This is the definition of cartographer. Next, cartography is the study and practice of map making. Means, cartography is the art of making map. Students, this is the picture of Gerardus Mercator who is best known for his collection of maps called Atlas. Next, we have components of maps. Here, components of maps means elements of maps. So, the components of maps are title, scale, direction and conventional symbol. Students, today we will discuss first two components of maps which are title and scale. Now, let's start reading. There are four major components of the map. Without these components, we can't study a map effectively. Here, effectively means successfully. These components are the storehouse of information of map. Now, students, we will discuss first component of the map and that is title. Students, the map title is very important because it describes the theme or subject of a map. It gives the viewer a good idea of what the map is depicting. Now, let's start reading. Title Title shows the name of a map. Students, mark this line. It tells the reader what the map is all about. All maps should have an effective and accurate title. Here accurate means correct. For example, rainfall distribution in India. It means that this map shows the rainfall distribution in India. Now students, the next component of map is scale. Students, the definition of scale we have already discussed in important terms. Scale means a ratio between actual ground distance and map distance. Now let's start reading. Scale is a ratio between a unit distance on the map to a proportionate distance on the ground. Here proportionate means relevant. Next, distance on a map is shown with the help of a scale. All the maps are based on a scale. Here the question rises, why do we need a scale on a map? And the answer is, the scale shows you how to measure the distance between features shown on the map. In simple words, we can say that without a scale, map is just a line art. Next. With the help of a scale, maps can be reduced or enlarged. Here reduced means less or enlarged means big. The size of map is compared to the real size of a place with the help of a scale. For example, suppose the distance of a place A and place B is 1000 km on the ground, but it is shown as 1 cm on map, that is, 1000 km is equal to 1 cm. It means, 1000 km of distance on the ground is equal to 1 cm of distance on map. Now students, next we will discuss types of scales. Here the question rises, how many type of scales are there? And the answer is, there are three type of scales. Number one, statement scale. Statement scale is also known as verbal scale. Number two, linear scale. Same as linear scale is also known as graphic scale. And number third, RF scale. And RF scale is known as representative fraction scale. Now, first we will discuss statement scale. Students, the definition of statement scale we have already discussed in important terms means a scale in which map distance 
and ground distance is shown in a statement form or you can say it is expressed in term of words or explanation now let's start reading statement scale the unit is mentioned in statement scale it is also called verbal scale or verbal statement scale students mark this line for example 2 cm is equal to 2000 km it means 2000 km of distance on the ground is equal to 2 cm of distance on a map the advantage of this scale is it is very simple method which requires little time to express this scale but the main disadvantage of this scale is it can be understood only by those who are familiar with the unit of measurement and when map is reduced or enlarged from the original the scale does not remain the same and this create problem in measurement students look at the map this is the map of new york you can see in the right side of map statement scale is given now students come on page number 14 next we will discuss linear scale the definition of linear scale is a scale in which map distance and ground distance is shown on a straight line students linear scale is also called graphic scale and it is the most accurate scale for linear scale we should have one statement like 1 cm is equal to 100 km students this is the example of linear scale the linear scale is divided into two parts the primary division and secondary division the primary division expressed big unit like kilometer and placed on the right side from zero and secondary division expressed small unit like meter or centimeter and placed on the left side from zero now students for example if we want to show 1 cm is equal to 100 km on the map then first we will need to draw a line in which we will take the gap of 100 100 like 200 300 400 500 500 now if the statement is given to you 1 cm is equal to 150 km then 100 km we will take from primary division because it expressed the bigger unit and the left over 50 km we will take from the secondary division because it expressed small unit by this we can measure the distance between features on the map students the scale which you are using for measurement this is also an example of linear scale now students let's start reading linear scale linear scale is a very common scale most of the maps are based on linear scale it has a straight line drawn to scale that is further divided in terms of distance on the earth here they have given the example students the advantage of this scale is the distance can be measured easily with the help of linear scale and we can enlarge or reduce the linear scale according to the map i hope it is clear to you all students look at the map of north america here you may find linear scale on the left side of a map here 1 cm on the map represent 400 km on the ground next type of scale is rf scale students the definition of rf scale is a ratio between map distance and ground distance rf scale is also called 
representative fraction or numerical fraction. It is written as a fraction or ratio. The distance on a map is expressed as fraction of the actual distance on the ground. Students, the top number of fraction is known as numerator and in the bottom number of fraction is known as denominator. Now, let's start reading RF scale. RF means representative fraction. Students, mark this line. In RF scale, unit are not mentioned and the ratio is shown as a fraction. In RF, numerator is always 1, but denominator varies with the size of map. Students, always remember, in RF numerator is always 1, but we can change denominator according to the size of a map. RF has no unit like meter, centimeter, kilometers because any country can use it in their own units like yards, miles. That's why it is universally accepted. Next, for example, here 1 centimeter is represented by 2 kilometers. It means 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter, means 1 kilometer is equal 1 lakh centimeter and 2 kilometer is equal to 2 multiply 1 lakh centimeter is equal to 2 lakh centimeter. Thus, one unit of measurement on a map is equal to the values of the same unit on the ground. On the basis of the above discussed scales, map can be divided into two divisions. Students, look at the map of Australia. Here you can see in the left side of map, RF scale is given. One ratio is equal to one million. Now next we will discuss small scale map and large scale map. Small scale map means maps which show large area with few detail. And large scale map means map which shows small area with great detail. Now let's start reading small scale maps and large scale maps. The first point of small scale maps is these maps represent large areas of the earth. And number one point of large scale maps is these maps show small area of the earth. Number two, they show a few details about a large area. And they show a plenty of details about a small area. Here plenty means more. Number third, word map is a small scale map. All the maps shown on atlas are small scale maps. Students, this is the example of small scale maps. Number third of large scale maps is a road map, city map, etc. are the large scale maps. Students, here you can see the example of large scale map and small scale map. Students, today we have covered this topic till here. Now your homework for today is read the topic that we did plus write the terms that we discussed on your copy. And solve the exercise of discuss the following on page number 13 and 14 on your book. Thank you.